Hey guys, Chris Fix here, and today I'm gonna to show you how to remove the winter air from your car or truck tires and add in summer air. I'm also gonna show you the importance on why you need to do this. Now, most people understand the importance of properly inflating your tires. This is something that you learn when you first learn how to drive. But what a lot of people don't pay attention to is the actual air that you're putting into your tires, which is just as important. For example, we know that overinflating your tire is bad. It could cause a blowout, it could cause the middle of the tire to wear, and we also know that underinflating the tire isn't good as well. It'll cause the sidewall to be spongy, your handling won't be good, and it'll cause the outside of your tire to wear. Also, you'll get very bad fuel economy. If you ever tried pushing a car that doesn't run, usually it has flat tires, and you'll know how difficult that is to push. But if you inflate the tires to the proper pressure, you know you have a better chance at moving that car because it's easier to push. Push. So properly inflating your tires is pretty common knowledge. Most people get it. But what a lot of people don't think about is the air that's going into your tires when you fill it up. If you fill your tires up in the winter, you're adding cold, dry, heavy winter air. This is completely different than adding air in the summer, which is warmer, humid, and lighter. So because of the big difference between winter air and summer air, when the seasons change, like right now we're going from a really cold winter to hopefully a nice summer, you want to change out the air in all four of your tires for all of your vehicles. Now don't just take this from me. I spoke with an engineer with many years of experience and he's made countless videos about the science of tires. So he knows what he's talking about. Thanks Chris, you know I'm always down to talk about tires. I'm Jason with Engineering Explained, an engineer with over 75 years experience. You can see it in my hair. And Chris is definitely right. You don't want to run winter air in the summer or vice versa. It all comes down to the ideal gas law. PV equals N R T. Now I don't want to bore you with all the crazy math, so let's just make this simple. The ideal gas law only works for ideal gases, and only summer air is an ideal gas. Winter is not. You can tell this by looking at the different molecular structures. Now the biggest difference with winter air not being an ideal gas is that it weighs more. So if you were to take a tire and inflate it to the same pressure with winter air and summer air, it's going to weigh more with winter air in it. Now that extra weight is great for digging into the snow and providing traction in slick conditions but it's terrible in the summer when you're trying to drive fast and have fun. When the sun's out, you want lighter air in your tires. Back to you, Chris. Thanks a lot, Jason. All right, so not only do you know the importance of running the correct air pressure, but now you also know the importance of running the correct air in your tires. Since we're going from the winter to the summer, we want to run summer air. So now I'm going to show you how to flush out all that old winter air and fill up with some nice, fresh summer air. Now I do want to mention, if you're getting your vehicle serviced soon, maybe you're going to get an oil change or a tire rotation, just ask the mechanic who's working on your vehicle to switch out the air from winter air to summer air. Usually they'll do it for free. It takes them a couple of seconds. They do it as a courtesy. But you have to make sure that you ask them. If you don't ask them, they won't know to do it. But let's just say you want to do it yourself. I like working on my own cars. I like getting everything done myself. Let's say you're the same way and you want to do it at home. Well, guess what? It's really easy. You don't even have to jack up the car. We can leave it right on the ground. And here's all the tools and products you're gonna need. Before you begin working on your car, I always wear some gloves, and since we're working with pressurized air, put on some safety glasses. Now we can get started and remove the air from the tire. So remove the dust cap from the tire valve stem, and with that removed, put it someplace that you're not gonna lose it. Now to remove the air from the tire, you have a couple of options. First, you could get yourself something like a key or flathead screwdriver, and depress the little valve in here, and let the air out. But this could take a long time. So instead, I like to remove the actual valve from the valve stem, and to do that, you have a couple of options. Most people have a needle nose pliers like this, you could just go right in here and loosen it up just like that. You could hear that air coming out already. The other option is to use a valve stem core tool like this, and this just goes in and you unscrew it, same way you're using that needle nose pliers. And once the valve's unscrewed all the way, the air pressure will push it out for you. What's actually pretty cool is you can feel that cold winter air being let out of the tire. And this process will take about a minute to fully flush all the cold winter air out. So with our tire completely flat, all the winter air has been let out. Now we can reinstall the tire core back into the valve stem. And a little tip before we install the valve stem, it's always a good idea to lubricate it with some elbow grease. This will help it seal better and keep the moisture out. And when you're tightening down the valve stem, just make sure it goes in smoothly. There shouldn't really be any resistance. You don't want to cross thread it. And don't over tighten it. Just get it tight so it's snug, just like that. Perfect. So with our valve core installed 
and all the cold winter air removed from our tire, now we could go and refill the tire with summer air. So we have two options. If you have a compressor at home, you could use that. Just make sure your compressor doesn't have that cold winter air in here already. In this case, I do. If you need to purge it, you just pull this valve right here and you can purge all that old air out. I don't feel like running this, it's loud and obnoxious. Also, not everybody has a compressor, so I'm gonna show you how to do it at home with cans of summer air. You're gonna need one can per tire, so I have four cans right here, and you could easily find these at your local parts store. So you can walk into just about any car parts store. You wanna find the aisle that has the tire repair kits right over here, and as you can see, we have our summer and winter air. Now, if you can't find this, go ask one of the people behind the counter, I'm sure they'll help you out. Luckily, I bought these back in the fall when they were on sale when everybody's looking for that winter air. So I have four ready for my truck. Now, what tire pressure should you fill your tires to? Well, you just look inside the door jam and right here on the door jam sticker, you can see right there it says 30 PSI cold for both front and back tires. So that gives you the correct pressure and now all you have to do is fill up the tires. So let's get our summer air and thread on the hose to the tire valve stem. Now just hold down the nozzle at the top of the can, and it's going to take about a minute or so to fill a large truck tire with summer air. If you've ever done this before, you know the lighter summer air pumps the tire up a lot faster than if you do it with the heavier winter air. All right, now it is that simple to fill your tire up with the correct air. We have 100% summer air installed in that tire, and it's ready to go for this summer season. I can't wait. It really is that easy to do. And again, this is a very good thing to do. Check this out. Now to show you guys the difference between winter air and summer air, on the Del Sol that I'm working on, I'm rebuilding the entire front suspension, I got brand new wheels and tires. Now these tires were mounted in the winter, so all these tires have winter air in them. So let's put one on the scale to see how much it weighs with the winter air. Looks like 40 pounds, 12 ounces. Now let's remove all that winter air out of the tire, and let's fill it up with the lightweight summer air. Okay, let's see what the wheel weighs now with the summer air. 34 pounds, 12 ounces. And as they say, the proof is in the pudding. This was a great example of how much weight savings you have when you're using summer air over winter air. Six pounds per tire. That's 24 pounds of rotational mass that is saved. That is a huge number. And that's why you see race car drivers filling up with fresh summer air before every race. And finally, there are two situations where you don't have to change the air in your tires. You always want to check your tire pressure, but you don't have to change the air if you live in an area where the climate is the same in the summer and in the winter. If the temperature doesn't change, you don't have to change the air in your tires. And the second reason is if you have a green valve cap like this on the tires, that means your tires are filled up with nitrogen air. Nitrogen doesn't change pressure with temperature or it changes very, very little. So you don't have to replace your air in your tires if you have nitrogen. So if you live in a climate that's similar, all year round or if you have nitrogen in your tires you don't have to replace the air in your tires and one last thing that I need to mention because if I don't I know there's gonna be tons of comments about it if you off-road your truck or you tow with it it's better to run winter air even in the summer the cooler denser heavier air holds those tires to the ground better you get better traction and when you're towing it keeps them cooler so what I do I run summer air because I mostly ride on the road but I do carry a can or two of winter air just in case if I get stuck so it's very helpful in that type of situation so there we go. That is how you change out the winter air to the summer air in your tires. It's that easy to do and it's that important to do. Hopefully the video was helpful. If it was, remember to give it a thumbs up. If you're not a subscriber, consider hitting that subscribe button for more helpful how-to videos. As always, all the tools and products are linked in the description so you can easily find them. And finally, April Fools.